Hello friends, hope you are doing well. In this video, describe the purpose of manifest file rules while creating a new module. Well, manifest file name is underscore underscore manifest underscore underscore dot py file. Here you can see, and which is a Python file and having a Python dictionary uh, and some predefined key and values and each key specified metadata of that module. So let's start uh, one by one possible metadata keys. In case you have any doubt, please comment below. So here you can see, those are the metadatas. The first one is a name, which is a string value, and it is a required one. And that one is a name of the module. So here you can see this is the invoicing. If you go to front end side, this is the invoice. Like this is the main name key. Anything you can give name. The next key is version, uh, which data type is uh, values data type is string, and this is used to define modules version name. And like suppose if you have a new application, you can give a new version name or extending any feature you can also add extended number or if you fixed any bug so here based on that you can define a specific version name here you can see this is a 1.1 like this is a new uh, new module application so front end side in go in module info here you can see this is a 1.1 and this is the main version name of the uh, Odoo. Right now it's a 13.0 so by default it's appear as a 13.0. Also you can define here like something you can say 13.0 like this. It's also possible. Then after uh, the next key is description key. The type e, uh, value type is string and it's extend description for the module. So this is the description key here you can see and those are the descriptions and it will appear inside the module for module. Then after uh, the next key is author and value is string data type. Here you can see there is no, no any author but by default author is Odoo SA. This is the author name and Odoo SA is the author. Another key is website. The value data type is string and it's having only website name. Here you can see this is the website key and HTTPS this one this is the URL if you go to the module page here you can see this is the website and the value the next one is license so and the value is a string and by default value is LGPL-3 like there are many uh, open source or paid licenses available in market so based on that you can add here as a license key and uh, you can uh, like by like by default you can add like gpl-2 gpl-3 agpl-3 lgpl-3 etc so by default is lgpl-3 if you go to front end side here you can see this is the license and license name another is a category Define category name of that module and try to possible use against existing category. In case category not available as per your fit, uh, you can give a new category name. And by default, category's value should be like string. And if you don't specify any category name, by default is uncategorized. Uh, here you can see the category is invoicing. If you go to in Kanban view, go to list view, 
and group by category here you can see all categories available this is the category like website having the seven modules tools having four modules timesheet having one like this one next keyword is depends Here you can see this is depends, depends of all these modules and uh, depends uh, value should be list of string like you can add multiple models, uh, module names here as a string and it must be ex uh, it must be exist in adults path. For this module accounting account having some dependencies like digest portal analysis product and best setup all exist inside the add-ons or your custom add-ons it should be available while active the audio service so when you click on install before it will check depends module whether it is not installed first it will try to install all these modules and then after install this invoicing module so for that one you can use depends then after is a data data type is list of string and a list of data files which must always be installed or update with the module a list of paths from the module root directory so here you can see all are exist in current model like security this is the directory and this is the file xml file csv file so here you can see security account underscore security dot xml ir dot model dot access dot csv what is it like uh, those xml and csv we will discuss in further video uh, further discussions but right now you can see like all existing uh, files except python files you have to declare here like uh, creating views search view form view list view and uh, data file demo file etc like you can give here but for the demo data files you can give in demo keyword so next one is a demo key which is the same as data like uh, the type should be a list of string and uh, here you can add list of data files so while uh, in creating any database and with like a demonstration data then it will active like it will use these files next key is auto underscore install data type is boolean and default value is false like if it is true then this module will automatically be installed if all of its dependencies are installed then after its external underscore dependencies this mod uh, this key is very important like uh, and uh, the data type is like a dictionary and uh, inside dictionary key as a string and uh, value as a list of string and there are two major keys one is a python and one is a binary for python dependencies the python key must be defined for this dictionary and a list of python modules to be imported should be assigned to it for binary dependencies the bin key must be defined for this dictionary and a list of binary executable names should be assigned to it the module won't be installed if either the python module is not installed in the system or the binary executable is not found within the system's path environment variable so let's say external dependencies is uh, python like if this package is not installed in the system then this module will not install so it will raise the pop-up message with the respective message so whenever you have a, like external dependency of python package or binary package you can add here then after another is application keyword 
uh, data type should be boolean and by default it's a false whether the module should be considered as a fully flagged application that time you can set as a true or it's just a technical module that provides some extra functionality to existing application module that time you can use as a false so by default it's a false so you don't need to add this keyword it's not a mandatory key, uh, key. one more keyword is maintainer and it is a string value like a person or entity in charge of the maintenance of this module by default author is a maintainer when any module install or uninstall and want to do specific operation that time these keys are used and they need to define inside the modules init file init python file so here this is your module and inside this init file you need to extend key name pre underscore init underscore hook second is a post underscore init underscore hook and third one is uninstall underscore hook like pre underscore init underscore hook tags a cursor as its only argument this function is executed prior to the module's installation then after post underscore init underscore hook tags a cursor and registry as its argument and this function is executed right after the module's installation uninstall underscore hook tags a cursor and a registry as its argument this function is executed after the module's uninstallation this hook should only be used when setup cleanup required for this module is either extremely difficult or impossible through the API uh, well this is the basic information about uh, manifest file and I hope this discussion clear what is manifest file and its role now in next video you can see how to create custom module and visible in Odoo App Store so see you in next video also please don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel